This is the EMAC Cup for 160 gear hopping machine. What's the process we can see? Oh, currently we are hopping our planetary gear off an automotive transmission. And uh, we do pre-hopping before gear grinding. That means the workpiece is hopped after turning, then it will go to the hardening process, and afterwards uh, it will be ground in this case. It's very fast. Do you know what the chip-to-chip -chip time is? Yes, the chip-to-chip -chip time in this uh, uh, specific process is in the area of nine seconds. And is that down to the machining process or the automation or maybe both? Uh, well, I would say it's, uh, it makes the combination of the two. One thing that is important is, of course, uh, proper process development. This is the technology must fit, of course. And uh, if you have short cycle times, like in this case, you also need a very fast automatic loading system. In this case, we have a gantry loader with a double rotary gripper that uh, helps us to exchange the workpieces in chip-to-chip -chip times that are less than four seconds. And I know we've got two auxiliary stations. Yep. Are they configurable? What options do you have? Uh, well, what you see here is uh, two auxiliary slides, auxiliary tools, and we can assemble various tools to these uh, auxiliary tools. Here, for example, you see a deburring disc that helps us to remove the burr on the face side of the gear. It can be also exchanged by means of uh, a timing sensor for orientation of gears to any blind holes, cams or slots or what have you. And we can also use uh, steady rests in case of hobbing shafts that tend to vibrate while hobbing. This helps to calm them down. And how about when these blanks, sorry, not these blanks, these tools go away for the hardening process and they come back, are we able to pick them up on this machine? Does it know where the gears are? Ah, that's, that's a very good question. Uh, one application that uh, we have sold quite often is the skiving process. That means the workpiece comes back from hardening, goes on the gear hobbing machine again. By means of the automatic timing sensor, we synchronize the hob with the gear and then we do hard rehobbing. This is called skiving. While skiving, we only remove material on the flanks of the gear because this at the end determines its functionality and its quality. And I know the, the process is dry. Why is it dry? Uh, we do dry hopping for various reasons. The main reason is that we can run the hop at higher speeds and feeds. This is due to a thermodynamic effect. Uh, when you do dry hopping, you have a very high temperature in the chip's root while you remove the chip. And uh, this effect is called adiabatic sharing and it reduces the tensile strength of the material due to the heat. And this helps us to remove the chips more easily. I can imagine this machine is great for high volume, but in the UK we may only have three, four or five high volume manufacturers of gears now, but there's probably hundreds doing low volume. So is this machine also attractive to those? Oh yes indeed. Uh, the machine is available with automation but also without automation. We have a huge variety of customers that uh, machine only small batches, even rapid prototyping applications do we have. Uh, the machine can be equipped by means of various quick clamping devices on the main spindle, on the tailstock as well as for hop clamping and uh, this helps of course to reduce the setup times considerably. And how about the control? Is that also easy and, and quick to program? Yeah, it, I think it's worth to take a look at it. You can see we have a huge touch screen with, uh, and you can even swipe the pages like uh, with the iPhone. And we have uh, developed curb for dialogue software that makes it very sim simple to program the, this gear hopping machine. So the machine will ask you everything that it needs in order to create the NC code automatically. And what gears can be manufactured on this machine? Well, there's a huge range of different work pieces that we can machine, starting from spur gears, sprockets, planetary gears, R major shafts, reducer pinions, even worm gears are possible and even straight bevel gears by means of the Konikron cutting method. And just to conclude, you're not the only manufacturer of these types of machines, yes. so if I am a manufacturer, why would I buy yours? Well, I think you should consider the complete package that we offer. By the one hand, we have a high-performance gear hopping machine that can be equipped with various features that allow either high-volume production or even rapid, rapid prototyping applications. Then we have the technological support from Germany, from our engineers. We even offer training to our customers that are not so familiar with gear hopping uh, processes. And the third point is that we have a very strong sales and service team in the UK, in Wolverhampton.